Hey there, I'm Angela. Welcome or welcome back. Thanks for stopping in. In today's video, I'm just going to show you guys some of the things that I'm currently working on now that I finished up with my butter ache dress. So stay tuned. The first and foremost thing that I really need to get finished up is a tank top that has been in progress for a while. I had some issues with it. So let me back up. I, I'm a gardener in the summertime, spring, spring, summer, and fall pretty much. And I wear a lot of tank tops because it does get pretty hot here in the summertime. So I pretty much live in tank tops during the summer. I'm out um, in the garden so much. And I have a few that I really like the way they fit. So I took apart one of them to use it as a pattern to start making my own. Since they don't really need that much fabric, I thought I probably have enough like random pieces of jersey knit that I can make enough tank tops out of to last me for a while. So that's what is in progress. And it, you'd think it would be pretty simple. It's like a pretty straightforward garment and small. It doesn't have like sleeves or a lot of fabric. Like how easy could it be? It seems like it should be easy, but I'm not that experienced working with knits yet. So I've only just recently gotten into sewing with knit fabrics in the past year or two. So I feel like I've come a long way in sewing adequately with the stretchy fabrics, um, but I'm having some issues with the neck binding or neck facing. I'm not sure what you call it, but that little, you know, the piece that covers up the raw edge on the neck. So I'll show you how it's coming along so far. So here's the one that I'm currently working on. And this was <clears throat> leftover fabric I had from another top that I made. And even though I used an old shirt that fits well and that I love the way it fits and feels as the pattern, I'm still having some fitting issues. This one is pretty tight. And I think unless I lose like five or so pounds, I probably will not be wearing this out in public. It's pretty tight. This might be a gardening only kind of shirt. And I'm relatively new to working with knits. So there's a little bit of a learning curve and I think it's coming along pretty well. And on this one, I just have to finish this neckline um, binding or facing. I'm not sure really how you refer to that the little, you know, the edging, like the arm size are finished and I'm, I'm pleased with the way they came out. So just got to do the same thing to the neckline and then of course hem it and it should be finished at that point. So once I get that tank top finished, the next things that I want to get done are some garments that I already have that just need some mending or alterations. And then one thing that I started doing this past year, maybe in 2020, was to get thrifted clothing and then upcycle it, like change it, or if it's too big, make it into my size, or in some cases, make it into something totally different. So I love um, thrifting. I love buying thrifted clothes I have for many, many years. But only just recently has it occurred to me to um, try to, you know, change something about the clothes that I buy, like make it into a whole new garment or, you know, just upcycle it a little bit. So I've got a few of those I'd like to get done, hopefully before I start on any brand new projects. But you know how it is. There's always that new pattern, brand new piece of fabric that's calling your name, just that allure of starting on a, a new project. And here are the garments that are waiting for me to do something with them. So most of these are purchased garments that either they're too big or I wanna change something about them. This one is a little short sleeve button, button down, button up shirt that I love the colors, but it's pretty big, it's too big for me. So I thought that I would modify it and <clears throat> either make it smaller or even take the sleeves off and make it sleeveless. Although these are not separate pieced sleeves. This is all one piece. So I probably will keep the sleeves on and just take it in. 
when I do start on a new project, hopefully within the next month or so, I am going to make this skirt. It's Simplicity 9375, and I'm gonna make view A, this one that the model is wearing. And I got this really nice flannel from Style Maker Fabrics. I've already washed it once just to, um, I tend to be a pre-washer. I know there's differences of opinions on that, but I'm pretty much a diehard pre-washer whether I'm quilting or making garments. But this is nice flannel. I will see if it's still available on their website and put a link below. You can tell it's really high quality. It's only my second thing I've ever gotten from Style Maker, just because um, they do tend to be a little bit pricier, but it's well worth it. It's just, usually it's, it's not always in my budget. So, but I kind of splurged this time and this is thick. This is a heavy flannel, so I figured that would make a good choice for this skirt that give it some weight and some structure. So I'm really excited to start on that. I'm just not going to let myself though until I get this till I get this dang old tank top finished. This has been in progress for a long time now and it frustrated me, so I stopped. But I got to get back to it. So that's all I have today. Thanks for hanging out with me in my sewing room. And until next time, bye.